everyone, it's Kidu, and in this video I'm going to be giving you guys a closer look at Galotimos' Nendroid. So, he's from the movie Promare, highly recommend watching it. I do actually have a lot to complain about this figure, unfortunately. I really, really was looking forward to him, and there's a lot about him that disappoints me a little bit. So I'm going to do a quick 360, and then we'll get into everything as I show you a closer look of him. So, issue number one, this thing. <laughs> Putting this thing together was a nightmare. <laughs> um, like, all of the pegs are way too, I think maybe two of them fit properly and like went in without too much of a hassle and like they don't fall out they're they're snug they're good enough but so many of them are so tight that I couldn't even as you can see that one in the far end I couldn't even push them all the way in and I'm pretty positive I accidentally bent a few of them a certain way specifically because it was so hard to to fit it in like the the peg itself is a little too fat for the whole I know that sounds really really awful but um that is one thing I just could not like I mean I eventually kind of got most of them in but as you can see some of them are still sticking out quite a bit specifically because they don't fit in the hole properly so that to me is a little irritating and I've had an issue like that with um good smile once before where the holes just didn't like they didn't fit and to me, that's a big issue because if parts of your figure don't go together properly, um, we're looking at like a problem because you want to display it the way it's meant to be displayed. And if you can't do that or it's super, super like problematic to do it, I don't like the word problematic, just like a pain in the ass to do it. Like it's really difficult or you're scared you're going to break the thing or you potentially do break it. That's an issue. Um, also, there is a red paint mark that this came with right out of the box, so I'm pretty disappointed about that. Not like a huge, huge issue, but it's noticeable enough because it's right on a white spot right in the front of the Matoy. So, not too happy about that there. Um, the back of it, same thing. A lot of them just don't fit properly. You can even see this bottom one here is kind of sticking out. I just couldn't, like, push them in anymore. Um, there is an issue, actually what is really cool about this Nedroid is that he actually has definition on his back. So that was kind of neat because he is shirtless and he is quite the beefy boy. Um, you can't see in this lighting. Uh, he actually has like a large scrape on his back, which I didn't notice until I was putting his back peg in. Um, I apparently can't show you in this lighting, so that's unfortunate. Um, there is a small, apparently this like little paint mark here is meant to be there because it's even on the box. Um, but there is a little smudge here on his pants. Again, that one is pretty minor. Um, thought I'd just point it out anyways though. Same thing with like the back here. You can see that the paint job isn't fully lined up. Even on that leg again, just kind of like looks a tad sloppy but you know like it's well, whatever can't get everything his hair looks super cool I think they did a really good job on like the look of it my only problem is like the mechanism of putting his hair and how his face plates work which if you're interested in how that looks without the hair how would his face plates look like without and all of that uh check out the unboxing for him I will link that in the description below so you can take a look here is another problem. There is a small blue, like dark blue mark on his hair here, which bothers me a little because it's right near the front. I don't know. That's just me. I'm really picky about stuff like that though, but I, I can survive. Um, there's like dust on him. Another thing too is there's actually a difference between the front face paint plate and the back of his head. Uh, it's really hard to show it because the mat toy is in the way at the moment. Um, the back of his head is quite shiny. It's kind of hard to show in this lighting. Um, also, my camera is not focusing. It's kind of hard to focus on, like, nothing that has, there's nothing distinct about it. Wow, I'm <laughs> really having a hard time showing you. But the back of his head is quite shiny. You can kind of see if it would stop focusing on the toy. 
I also showed in the unboxing as well. Um, okay, well there you can kind of see it. You can see the difference in texture where it's kind of shiny. And then all of a sudden the, the front of the hair is very matte. So it almost has like a bit of a different tone. So the, the front part hair piece almost looks a tad darker because it's matte like that. So that's kind of irritating me. I can't show you because his hair is on, but there is actually a dirt spot underneath on his forehead underneath this hair here. I tried to get it off, but it won't come off. So it's just kind of there. It's nice enough that it's hidden by the hair, but it's still kind of irritating because he just looked a little dirty. Um, I don't know if the camera will pick it up. There's like another slight dirt spot on um, the corner of his forehead here. It's not as noticeable as the other one, uh, but yeah, that was an issue. Another problem, I hate that I'm all I'm doing is complaining about this figure. I will say the good things. The color is very nice. The matte toy was a really cool idea. I love the idea of all the little danglies. I hate the execution. Uh, his hand here is really cool. I think they did a really awesome job of making it look like the style of the anime with the kind of like chunky fingers and the very smooth, um, like smooth pose of the hand, how it's like a slope there and it's not super super like defined or anything i think that's really cool a nice idea to make it work with the art style of the show uh, we have his little belts here which are really cool i say cool a lot i don't have a great vocabulary clearly um there's some marks on his thing here you can see where there was some scratches because it's now shiny uh, that, again, is just also out of the box, unfortunately. His face is super cute, though, like the faceplate itself, the design of it. <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> really great. If you want to see his other faceplate, just take a look at the unboxing. Again, that's linked in the description below. Um, so another major issue I have, I'm surprised I even have this hand slightly in, in the peg right now. Um, I had to force this hand so much. It's like when I swapped this arm, um, cause he comes with like his default posed arm. This is the arm that's posed back to hold the matoy. So when I was trying to put the peg of this glove, cause how it works is he comes with, um, multiple little hand pieces, only the two glove pieces, like the, the s sleeve of the glove. That doesn't make any sense, but you know what I mean? This part of the glove only one of each of those which are the ones that are on him so you have to pop those off and then you can change the hands which also pop off as you can see the um the spot right there the seam and the peg for this glove is too large for this arm so i had to i sat there for like 15 minutes trying to shove it inside the hole and like warming it up to try to get it to go in and it just wouldn't it's kind of like being held in there by like the tip of it which is really funny um yeah I I tried my best to get it to stay I'm scared that this is gonna be too heavy eventually and this glove is just gonna fall off because I don't think it's holding on very well which is a little concerning and makes me a little sad because I was really excited for him, but he was such a hassle to put together. And then also his hairpiece, how the front part goes on, um, it goes, it like comes off and then it goes down and pegs on, on the front faceplate. Uh, again, you'll understand visually what I'm talking about if you take a look at the unboxing, if you haven't already seen that. But to put it in it's such a steep angle and the pegs again are so 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 tight like I had to force the hair in and I'm just hoping that there's no paint transfer under his face I haven't taken them off again to look but also I feel like taking them off is going to be really hard as well and then that's going to cause paint transfer so I'm really nervous about that because I, I I hate I hate paint transfer like let's just not have that happen please uh, but yeah, that is mostly what I have to say about him. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. There might be, but I can't quite put my finger on it at the moment. That's good enough for now, I guess. Uh, oh, yeah, one more extra thing, I guess. This here pops off and the whole top of the mantoy pops off so that you can actually put the little gun attachment thing 
I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, you can put that on there. I didn't try it in the box, but I was very confused in the unboxing. I was like, what am I supposed to do with this? Uh, yeah, so that's how you do it. You just pop off both ends and then you just have this stick with the little gun end on it. So that that's a thing. His hair is so high though. Like, I love it. I just wish that he was executed a tad better. I'm not sure how else they would have done the hair. I mean, they could have just cut their losses and kept this hair on the front faceplate. And I think that would have worked out fine. But because they decided they only wanted to make one large hair piece instead of having both hair pieces on the face plates, which again, I don't understand quite well because they only gave him one extra facial expression anyways. So you're only doing two face plates. Why don't you just put the whole thing of hair? Like, I don't, I don't know what the thought process of not doing that was. Just maybe they were lazy and didn't want to do the other one or maybe it cost too much. I don't know. Like these, these are decently expensive figures, so I'm not sure why that would be such an issue especially if you're only having the two face plates so just like add the extra or keep the hair piece attached to the front then you wouldn't be so concerned or at least I wouldn't be so concerned about the paint transfer and having to actually put the hair on and off when you're swapping face plates because oh my god it is a nightmare <laughs> I actually did forget one quick thing, so I'm just going to add this on before I end this video. Uh, right on the top of his head, his front faceplate actually leaves a huge gap. You can't see the extent of the gap because, again, the front hair or the like this hair piece is on, so it's kind of covering most of it. But you can see the start of it there. And I mean, I've pushed this as tight as possible, and it just won't go. Like, you can see how it's flush right here so I can't push it any further and I've tried pushing the um back of his face further as well and unfortunately it just there's just a big gap so it almost looks like it was cut incorrectly or cut just a little too short the gap does bother me quite a bit mostly because he has such short hair so you see it like it's not as bad in some other figures where it's like all big bangs in the front but because it is so short and the moment you take this piece off you just see this huge gap and you can still see the gap even when the top hair is on yeah so that that's that's an issue for me yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching i hope that gave you a little insight onto him here I apologize, the majority of this video is just me complaining. I just wanted to express my experience with him, I guess. So I apologize for that, but I just needed to get my complaints out somewhere. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. I will link his unbox in the description below, as always, and I will put my social media down there. Please be 18 plus to follow my Twitter. And if you would like to purchase anything through my affiliate links through CD Japan and Tokyo Takamo, they will also be down there for your clicking pleasure. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!